Rhythmic offers high quality full depth futures data. You can get Rhythmic credentials from both your broker and from Bookmap. Let's go over how to connect to Rhythmic after you have your credentials. The first window you see after opening Bookmap is the Run Options window. If you want to connect to your brokerage account, make sure to select Trading Mode. If you just want to view the live data without trading, both the simulation and the trading options would work. In my case, I will just select Simulation Mode and click OK. For more details about the Run Options menu, please check the link in the description. First, we want to establish a connection. Click on Connections, then Configure, and Add a Connection. And choose Rhythmic under the Platform drop-down window. Type in or copy and paste the username and password you got from Bookmap or your broker here. Now this is important. If you have a data-only account or a paper trading account, under System, choose Rhythmic Paper Trading. If you have a trading account, choose Rhythmic 01. There are some brokers that have their own server for Rhythmic, like Apex. If that's the case, just select the relevant one from the list. Note that Rhythmic purchased through Bookmap is always a paper trading account. Under Gateway, choose the server that is closer to you geographically. For me, it's Europe. Checking the plugin mode box is relevant for our Trader Pro, which can save you an additional market connection and does bypass CME professional fees when having more than two connections. If you want to establish the connection with our trader, click the link above to watch the instruction video. Now let's click OK. Go to Connections and click on the new connection you just made. As you can see, a connection failure window appears. This is normal. You need to click here and put in the same Rhythmic login credentials and sign the Rhythmic agreements. As you can see, there are two agreements to sign. Please go over them and agree to the terms. On the second form, check the relevant box, if you are professional or not, and click on Submit. If you're unsure whether you are a non-pro or not, please check the definition from CME using the link in the description. After finishing with the agreements, go back to Bookmap and click Try Again in the same box that appeared before. Now the connection is established. The next step is to add an instrument. Click plus to add an instrument. Choose Rhythmic under the platform. Now choose the relevant exchange. Let's pause for a moment and go over the exchanges. There are four different exchanges to choose from. CME for indexes and currencies, COMEX for metals, CBOT for interest rates and agriculture, and NYMEX for energy. Make sure you choose the right one for the instrument you're looking for. For more details, please check the link in the description. Now, after understanding the differences, let's go back to the video. Manually type your symbol of choice. It will not appear in the drop-down window. In the drop-down window, you can only see the history of already subscribed instruments. To know how to type the symbol correctly, go to Help, then Symbols. Let's quickly go over that. Let's say I want the E-mini S&P 500 for March 2023. At the top, I'll find the letter that represents March, which is H. Then find the rhythmic column and go to the E-mini S&P 500 row. Here I can see I need to type ES, then the letter that represents the month, and then the last digit of the year. So ES for the E-mini S&P 500, H for March, and 3 for 2023. Note that not all instruments can be found in this list. If there's an instrument you didn't find here, use the link in the description and go to the official CME site. Let's finish adding an instrument. We need to go back to Bookmap and type ESH3 and click subscribe. Now you're ready to use Rhythmic.